you be an employee of someone and be rich? Yes, but I'm going to tell you this, you'll always be self-employed if you're in the car business because we as car business people, we are self-employed and this is our own business. And the sooner that you realize that and that this isn't Chick-fil-A or Amazon or something like that, guess what? You'll start to see that, man, I'm in charge of my own deal. So this guy next to me, right? He wants to make $5,000 a month, but I want to make $15,000. Well, you can go get your 15,000, but you're gonna to have to be three times the entrepreneur as that guy. But if you take the same steps that that guy takes, well, it's not surprising why you're not making more than the money he's making. And I'll tell you this, there's X amount of time in a day, you guys have plenty of time to be high in all of these levels. The time's there, you just can't be wasting it scrolling on Facebook and doing stuff that's stupid, okay? So, as I talk about this, I want you to taste more. I want you to think about oysters. I always use this as an example. How many people say they hate oysters? Tons. You know, and the funny thing is, is most of them never even tasted one. But they just look yucky. I almost parallel that to business, okay? As I see some of you guys out there, maybe you're talking about like, maybe I found this niche, right? Like, oh man, there's like this offer up thing, you know, that's out there. I think I can go post all the $8,000 and under vehicles that we have on our lot. We get paid on unit bonuses here. Guys, OfferUp is a really good system to sell cars on for $8,000 and under vehicles. Over that price point, they're gonna cut you off, you're done, you're just gonna get bullshit low ball offers. But 8,000 and under, that's a really good price point. Now, as I talk about getting those unit bonuses, maybe you can't make a lot of gross on an $8,000 car, but you can get your unit bonuses right. You can keep the machine rolling, pushing volume, if we're talking about selling cars. Well, guess what? If you go ask a guy, hey, what do you think about OfferUp? Ah, it's a bunch of bullshit. Guys, I know people that are selling 20 cars a month off offer up right now. 8,000 and under cars. But so funny how people say they hate oysters and they've never tasted one. You know, I want you to think about that on what ideas that you've had in your life that maybe in the car business you're sitting there and as it's cold this winter, you're staring out the window and you're like, man, there's got to be more than this. There is. There is more than that. As a matter of fact, I could give you 10 things right now that you could do that would bring you customers in the door, left and right, that cost no money, and I could probably give you one idea each. If I get a chance to meet you, find out your personality, what drives you, what's important, you'll notice when somebody texts me and they're like, hey, what's up, Andy? I just wanna tell you I love your training videos. I always say, how old are you? What state are you in? If you guys are on the other end, you know what I'm talking about if you've reached out to me. Okay, And you'll understand why I'm saying that, because I, I understand certain traits and patterns and behaviors of different ages. And my favorite text to come across is a guy that hasn't been in the business um, longer than two or three years, he's under that, a guy that you know has a lot of drive, um, but honestly isn't making it and can't figure out how to do it. I can turn that guy around 360, and all of a sudden, guess what? After one seminar with him, he's done. That guy's making $150,000, $200,000, and he's just changed his entire life. The answers were there the whole time, but he was around people that was just telling him no, or no, or no, or wasn't giving them the ideas. But guys, part of being an entrepreneur is this, you've gotta learn about money. I'm just gonna tell you, if every day you're not spending an hour learning about money, you're never gonna have money, okay? And I'll get, to, I'll get back to that here in a minute. Don't fear others' judgment. You wanna talk about leaving money on the table? You know why you leave money on the table? Because you don't negotiate, you don't close, you don't role play, you don't learn all the word tracks that are out there in private. Yeah, you do it with your customers when they're live on the lot and then you try your best but it doesn't work out. Guys, I wanna tell you, what you do in private is what shows up in public. Do, do you think that the Michael Jordans, I mean, gosh, I mean, just anybody that's good at business or good at sports or anything, do you think they just go out on the field and then once a week they play a game or once a day they go to play the game and then they just play better all the time? And No, man. What they're doing when no one's around the stuff that you never get to see, you don't even understand that grit, that grind, that push, right? The way that they're telling themselves that, man, I don't care what anyone else thinks about me. I don't care. And if this guy's taking 10 jump shot, shots, I'm gonna take 20. And if I find out he's taking 1,000, I'm gonna take 2,000. And you know what? Just in case someone out there is taking 2,000, just in case, I don't know for sure, but just in case, I'll take 5,000 so I don't chance it. Man, I wanna tell you, how many pieces of scrap paper do you go through a day before you go into work each day to sell cars, practicing role playing, re uh, rehearsing, recording videos of yourself, saying word tracks? Yeah, you know them, but you don't know them. 
Because I'm going to tell you, one bad word can take the word, can take the cell backwards and not advance it forward. So do you have error to say a bad word? Not sometimes. You know, sometimes it will cost you an entire cordial or it could cost you a $2,500 paycheck, right? Just one commission, just an extra $2,500 on your paycheck because you can repeat, rehearse, role play, practice, the things that you should be if you're a real entrepreneur, okay? So stop fearing the judgment of others. I, I sat there when I was in work. I used to watch training videos all the time back when I sell and I would role play and practice and I'd be going through scrap papers and stuff. And people would walk in, they'd be like, man, who the hell are you talking to? I'm like, what? They're like, who are you talking to, man? I've been watching you for 20 minutes over there drinking my coffee, right? Just over here, you know, just talking to yourself, tearing up pieces of paper, going back and forth. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I got this joker over here drinking his coffee. I'm over here crushing it, right? By myself, talking to myself. But then I go outside when I'm done, and you know what happens? I hit me a $15,000 deal. That guy's never tasted a $7,500 deal. And you know what? My commissions and my money that I make, and honestly, I'm not stressed out about it. Like, I'm so prepared for anything, and I make myself prepared for anything, that my job's actually really easy. He's complaining how hard his job is and how he can't get a good up. He's looking for a lay down, guys. They're not out there anymore. You got to do a good job, and then they'll pay you all the money. So guess what? That guy over there drinking his coffee watching me, do you think I fear him judging me? Hell no, I don't want a life like his. So what life do you want? You gotta think about that. And are you willing to go outside the box in the way that you are now? Are you that guy that's drinking coffee at that table? Because I'll tell you, you can easily fall into that. And if there's no one like me that's in your store, you have to become that person. And maybe it's you doing it, not to only do it for yourself, to be, become a leader for someone else. If you'll notice how much free content and training videos that I put out all the time, you know why? Because I want to attach and reach people, right? And literally be their shield and courage from their negative um, employees and management staff that don't believe in them.